There is a pair of asteroids that are set to make close passes by Earth on the 27th this month. The first one that I'll talk about is the mountain size asteroid 2011 UL21. It will come within 5 million miles of Earth, making it the largest space rock to come that close to our planet in 125 years. 2011 UL21 orbits the Sun once every three years and is estimated to be somewhere between 1.1 and 2.4 miles wide. This makes it larger than 99% of known near-Earth asteroids, according to the European Space Agency, and it's been designated as a potentially hazardous asteroid due to its size. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Asteroid 2011 UL21 will be at its closest point to us on June 27th. The combination of its size and proximity to the Earth automatically qualify it for the label Potentially Hazardous Asteroid. Here on JPL it shows the Earth and the proximity of this asteroid. Uh, here on the 30th, you can see it's actually passing behind the Earth. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, here you can see that the Earth will pass um, right through the path of where the asteroid is going to go. I don't know if I can make this bigger. I'm trying to make it bigger for you to see. Often asteroids have um, d a debris field of other asteroids that will be, uh, you know, probably part of it. Or accompanying it. This asteroid is expected to pass our planet at more than 58,000 miles per hour. It will come within 4.1 million miles of Earth according to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which will make it approximately 17 times farther away from the Earth than the Moon. 2011 UL21 is big but it pales in comparison to other space rocks that have made an impact on Earth history. It may be at least 10 times smaller than the Refert asteroid, the largest space rock to ever hit Earth, and also around five times smaller than the space rock that wiped out the dinosaurs around 66 million years ago. However, while the potential impact from 2011 UL21 would be less extreme than these historic collisions. The asteroid still has the potential to cause damage on a continental scale and inject enough debris into the atmosphere to trigger significant climate changes, which is why it is considered a planet killer. Needless to say that a two mile wide rock traveling at 58,000 miles per hour would definitely kill our planet. According to an astrophysicist and director of the Virtual Telescope, there is absolutely no risk for our planet. The term potentially hazardous asteroid is a precise formal definition referring to minor planets larger than approximately 140 meters that can come within 7.5 million kilometers of the Earth, he said. That being said, there's always the possibility that the gravitational tug of Earth could alter the planet killer asteroid's orbit. And if that were ever to occur, there isn't much we could do to stop it. If you have a good telescope, you might even be able to see the asteroid just by looking up in the night sky. It will be at its brightest on June 28th and 29th and visible across the northern hemisphere. When will it approach Earth again? 2011 UL21 won't get this close to Earth again until 2089. At that, at that time, the asteroid will be within 1.7 million miles of Earth, 
more than two and a half times closer than it will get this week. Another giant asteroid measuring 210 feet or 64 meters wide is also hurling towards Earth and will make close approach on the 27th. This asteroid named 2019 NJ belongs to the Amur group of asteroids known for their orbits that occasionally bring them close to our planet. Traveling at a speed of more than 36,000 kilometers per hour or more than 22,000 miles per hour, 2019 NJ will zip past the Earth at a safe distance of 6.6 .6 million kilometers or 4.1 million miles on the 27th. Here's its current location and we'll go ahead by one day. That's the 27th. Looks like it's going to pass in front of the Earth. And once again, it could have debris, um, small bodies that are traveling with it. Yeah, we just don't know. So once again, here is the trajectory of the 2011 UL21. And I'll go ahead. And it looks like this one here is actually going to travel behind the Earth. Yeah, what are the chances we're being um, <laughs> impacted both on the front and the back side of Earth? What's the wrong about the speed of these asteroids? NASA recently conducted a hypothetical exercise revealing significant gaps in Earth's readiness for a potential asteroid impact. Here we're always told that we can do something. Well, the scenario that was organized by the Planetary Defense Coordination Office together with the U.S. Department of State Office of Space Affairs and FEMA. The space agency warns that if an undetected asteroid has a 72% possibility of hitting Earth in 14 years, we might not be adequately prepared for it. The exercise revealed key shortcomings in asteroid impact readiness. Despite the potential for advanced prediction, Lindley Johnson, Planetary Defense Office Emirates at NASA headquarters noted that the exercise exposed significant shortcomings in preparedness. This included a lack of understanding around decision making and risk tolerance limited readiness to quickly implement necessary space missions, a need for better global messaging coordination, and undefined asteroid impact disaster management plans. Did anyone really believe that they would notify us of any type of global disaster ahead of time? I don't think so. The scenario was further complicated by a seven-month delay in essential follow-up observations due to the asteroid's position behind the Sun from Earth perspective. The DART mission data used in asteroid exercises, the exercise marked the first use of data from NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Team Test DART mission. Here for years and years and years they've been telling us nothing to worry about, we got a plan, and then they do an exercise and nothing works. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.